Hi, today we're going to be taking on Bots and Review Light a Pokemon Sun and Moon Free Card Booster Pack Special Tokamaru. Kind of a mouthful to say, but yet we said. So, what do we get in here? We get free Sun and Moon 10 card booster packs, which, yes, each one's going to come with a code card. We get our promo card here, which is Tokamaru, and we get a Pokemon coin, which is like their Gen 2 coins that they count with. Which is, uh. I know a lot of people say it's gold, a lot of people say that it's. Like, yellow, like yellow, yellow. It's kind of like a goldish yellow kind of tip. Pikachu coin. So, yeah. So, yeah, something I wanted to point out. Because, I mean, some people on here on YouTube in the comment section, it's just funny of how you know, ridiculous their comments, stupid comments are. So someone asks, what is TCG? Trident Card Game, TCG. Now someone would ask a better version of the question like, what's the difference between TCG and CCG? That I think would have been a way better question, because you know, TCG, Trident Card Game, while CCG is Collector Card Game. You know, TCG is, you know, so you have duplicates, triple kits, you know, quads of the same card. You want to trade them to get, like, different versions, different artwork, you know, different power levels, different things like that. While in CCG, you just pretty much collect them, just to collect them. It's, you're not going to trade them for anything. Also, something to take note is, if you buy these free card booster packs from the dollar store, you get one of these stupid, useless cards that, you know, one side says, Hey, guess what? The cards they bought are CCG. They're trading card games. I mean, TCG. I don't know why I said CCG. They're TCG. Trading card game, you know. Where you get them and you're like, Oh, I have this one away. Hey, you want this one? Give me your copy of, like, your Charizard, and I'll give you my copy of a Charmander. You know, you trade them. Now, what would have been nice is... Instead of three cards from the dollar store for a dollar, they would give you four cards. Or, if you see my videos, I want to open these free card booster pants up. Instead of giving us free cards, you know, give us a special code card. But no, they're like, hey, we'll give you free Pokemon cards. And then we'll give you this useless garbage waste of a card stock card that tells you, hey, the cards you bought are trading cards. They're not collector cards. No, duh, obviously, you know. But yeah, I would have either a fourth card or a code card instead of this useless waste of card side that they give you. So, just remember, if you want code cards, go out and spend about seven to eight bucks on Sino Booster Pet that says it has ten cards in there and a code card. If you just want free cards for a dollar, go to the store, you're going to get free Pokemon cards and this. Useless waste of cards that but no code card no code card in the free cards for dollar from dollar store Just free cards for dollar at dollar store and a useless code card you know If you want a code card Spend like seven to eight bucks almost And get one that says you get ten cards not free cards in there and a code card Yeah, because I know there is some people in the comments section they said, hey, I watched the one that you opened up from the dollar store. You know, I seen that you get free cards in it and you get this useless waste of card stock, but no code card. Can I have a code, please? Duh, that's true. That's like asking someone, can I use the bathroom? I don't know, little Jimmy. Can you use the bathroom or are you going to go in your pants? You know what I mean? If you know how to use the bathroom, get up. Go use the bathroom. Don't ask me, can you use the bathroom? I don't know if you're pie twin or not. You know what I mean? But if you know how to use the bathroom, you know, go use the bathroom. Don't ask me. Now, it would be a, something like you said, can I have, you know, the bathroom key or, like, the hall pass? You know, something like that. You know, if I was a teacher, you know, working at, like, a gas station or something where, you know, the key's, like, a bit old stint. And, you know, people can't just put in their pants. You're going to see a bit old stint. There's a key on it, poked down their pants, popped it, you know. Or if I was to teach you, I was like, yeah, I only want you a hall pass to go use the bathroom, you know. A question like that, like, can I have a hall pass to use the bathroom, or can I have the bathroom key? 
You know, that makes more sense. But if you ask like a question like, can I use the bathroom? My answer would be like, I don't know, can you use the bathroom? I know I can use the bathroom. You get what I'm saying? So if you see open up, you know, these free cards for a dollar, boots and pants a dollar, so you're like, dude, can I have a code card? I don't know. Did you watch the video? Did you see that the free cards from dollar store for a dollar does not give you a code card? Well, obviously, if you watched the video and you saw that they did not give you a code card, don't ask for a code card. Because they don't give you the code card, obviously. Duh. If you want a code card, 10 cards, about 8 bucks, you get a code card. Duh, obviously. Anyway. So yeah, here's what the ballot is. This one features a nice, you know, Lunar Lala, po legendary moon Pokemon. Yeah, I'm trying to get this in focus here. There you go. So if you want to read this, you know, pause the video and read it. I will have the link down below to uh, Pokemon.com. Where is it? Like right there. Pokemon.com. Link down below in the description. Also, um, to ToyWiz.com. I know you can pick this up at ToyWiz.com. So their link will be down there below in the description there. Uh, the best place that I use to price all my cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, My Little Pony, ToyWiz.com. Their price guide is simply the best. I was looking online for like price guides for like My Little Pony and stuff. And the Super Ultra Rare cards that's you know limited to like maybe one of seven that's ever made in the world. Their price are like mm, two cents. But the cards is like... 5,000 of 5,000, you know, the ones that are pretty much a dime a dozen. They're like, oh my god, those cards are a dollar! Make you holler for a dollar! But the ones that's like super, super rare, like not even ones that you can obtain from tournaments. That, you know, once you're at tournaments and win them as prize cards, you know, like those type of rare cards, their prize are like, hmm, two cents, one set. They're super ultra secret, like, Major, ultimate, neutral, rare, you know, two cents. But the ones that's like, you know, you get like 50,000 gajillion of, that's a dollar. Make you holler for a dollar. But super secret, like, ultra special, rare, that's limited to like only like maybe seven that exists in the whole entire world. Two cents, one cent. Don't know how these price guy people come up with these prices. But they're just stupid morons, you know. But uh, Toy Wiz, they seem to have the best prices that are pretty much what they're supposed to be worth. So yeah, ToyWiz.com. And if you want to buy these booster pads, you know, in inventory is one single booster pad. ToyWiz.com, they have you covered. So definitely link down below to Pokemon.com and ToyWiz.com. Also, just a quick little thing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and comment. Alright. So yeah, let's open this up and see what cards we got in here. Hmm, seems like these stuck some tape on these two over here. Don't know why they would, but kind of seems like that's what they did. And now Peter 2 is being stubborn, and he doesn't want to come out of the box. Just like how P the real Peter 2, you know, from the anime, doesn't want to go in his Pokeball. <laughs> we got kind of like the opposite thing going on with the coin. Peter 2 from the anime doesn't want to go in his Pokeball. Peter 2, the coin, does not want to come out of the package. So yeah, we have a nice little Pikachu coin here. Very nice. I guess this will be a foil version of it. Or a shiny foil version. I know it's not the uh, diamond or version. or They're calling it something else. It's not the glittery version. On the back, I don't know if you can see it that good on camera here. Just shows the Pokeball with the word Pokemon on there. There we go. I like how they're going with like version 2 coins. Because, uh, let's see, version 1, as you can see here, 
it's a lot smaller than version 2. Like, if I put them, like, on each other, you could definitely tell. The Pikachu one is better than version 1, so I definitely like how to do in the new coins, which is a lot better. It's easier to see when you're doing coin tosses and stuff. Yep. Then we have our special promo card here. Our foil card. How a foil, I believe. Uh, Tokamaru. And here it says, uh, promo SM, which is Sun Moon 09. So it's number 9 in the promos for Sun and Moon. Very nice. Then we have a Pokemon free card, booster pack, promo card here. Not promo card. Code card. Code card for the Sun and Moon 1 over here, which would give you free booster packs. And then we have each one of these, so. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's see if we can get the can too. Come on, focus here. There we go. Your adventure in a new region starts now. So if you want to read, you know, that, all this, pause the video to read, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, anyway, let's open up and see what we got in here. So this one featuring, uh, I don't remember what that Pokemon's name is. It's a water Pokemon. I don't deal with water. I don't really deal with squats. The types that I love is fire. If you ask me, when you pick your Pokemon out, when you're starting Pokemon games, we have, you know, water, grass, and fire. What one do I always choose? I'm always the flame man. Fire guy. You know, I'm that hot-headed guy that I just 